channel. Now, before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role-playing video, I got adopted by criminals. But once I realized how bad of people they really were, I had to put a stop to them. Oh, honey, we've been so busy lately, we've hardly had any time to hang out with each other. Tonight's date night is much needed. I know, right, honey? We haven't had a date night in over a week. Tonight's gonna be so much fun. Oh, I can't wait. What do you wanna do? I was thinking maybe we could go to a random neighborhood tonight and play Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. And whichever house we land on, we go inside and rob it, just like the old days. What do you say? That's a great idea. I've been wanting to buy some new shoes, but money's a little tight right now, so we can go and steal their money. Should I bring a gun just in case we need to protect ourselves? I mean, we haven't broken to a house in so long. I kind of forget how to do it. Of course you should bring a gun, you idiot. But make sure you take out all the bullets because we will only use it as a last resort. Just in case we need to scare them away. Great point. Okay, I'll bring it. Come on, it's getting late. Let's get dressed up in our uniforms and head out. Moments later. All right, Kate, go ahead. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, it landed on this house. Uh, let's just go rob the other house instead. Yeah, good idea, honey. That house is huge. We're definitely gonna hit the jackpot tonight. Would you look at that, Kate? The front door's unlocked. This is too easy. It's like taking candy from a baby. All right, Kate, keep your eyes peeled and look for the safe. James, I found it over here, but be super quiet. The lady's asleep in this room. I knew I could count on you. Quick, take out the bomb. Three, two, one... James, we hit the jackpot! Look at all of this money! What on earth was that sound? Did I leave the TV on again? <gasps> James, we woke her up! Come on, quick, let's get out of here! Ah, who the heck are you guys? And what are you doing in my house? I'm calling the police! Now, now, lady, you don't want to do anything you'll regret. Why don't you just let my wife and I leave and no one will get hurt? Absolutely not! You two criminals will not get away! Don't take another step. I have a gun and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, give me a break. I've seen this in the movies before. I bet that gun is fake. I ain't scared of you guys. It's a real gun. One more step and I'll blow your brains out. Oh, yeah? I dare you to pull the trigger, Mr. Robber Man. <gasps> James, I thought you took the bullets out. Oh, uh, I thought you were supposed to do that. You imbecile. Why did you even pull the trigger? Because she dared me to. I wasn't going to back down from a dare. Ugh, why did I marry such a child? Whatever, we don't have time for this right now. We'll talk about it at home. Come on, let's get out of here. Wee! Wee! Uh, Kate, did you just hear a crying baby or was it just me? Yup, I heard it too. Wee! Wee! Oh my gosh, James, what have you done? You just killed this girl's mom. OMG, 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 I'm freaking out right now. This is bad. What are we gonna do? Well, we can't just leave this baby here by herself. James, we have to take her with us. Are we ready for a child? Well, we have no other choice. But on the bright side, when she grows up, we can train her to be a criminal just like us. You know what? That's true, Kate. Okay, fine. I guess we can adopt her. Ew, it says here her name is Barbara. Gross. Let's name her Mackenzie instead. I've always liked that name. James, you have to promise me that this child will never find out about what we did tonight. Promise. Now let's get out of here before the cop shows up. Good morning, sweetie. Time to wake up. Come on, Mom. Just a little bit longer. I was having the best dream ever. Kenzie, you have class in 20 minutes. Ugh, fine. Just give me three more seconds. Kenzie? Okay, perfect. I'm good. I'm coming. Come on. I made you blueberry waffles. Your favorite. Oh, thanks, Mom. So what are we doing for school today? Well, I'll teach you one hour of math and then one hour of science. Then we need to go to the store with your father. Oh, I hate math. If I'm homeschooled, why can't we just learn something fun for once? I mean, no one's ever gonna know. Mackenzie, you need to learn all the subjects, just like all the other kids. 
need to go to school. Then why can't I just go to school like a normal girl? Oh, we talk about this all the time, Kenzie. You can't go to school with the other kids. You and what we do in our personal lives are very, very confidential, and none of the other boys and girls can know about it. Ugh, what's a confidential? Anyways, open your book to chapter 12 and let's get started. A few moments later. Hey, girls, I'm home! Yay, Dad! All right, ready to go to the store, you guys? Yup, don't forget your purse, honey. James, you idiot. We aren't going to be paying for anything at the store. We are stealing it all. Ah, yes, right, right. I forgot. Come on, let's go. Look, James, there's a car right there. He's coming our direction. All right, guys, everyone in their positions. Aye, aye, Captain. Help, help. Oh, dear, what happened? My daughter just fell on the ground. We need to get her to the hospital immediately. Oh, no, you guys can hop in my car. Don't mind if we do. Come on, guys, let's go. Hey, that's my car. What are you guys doing? I think you meant to say that this was your car. Finders keepers, losers weepers. Hey, I'm calling the police on you. Hey, look, the ice cream store. Mom, Dad, can I please get some ice cream? Of course you can, honey. You know what to do. Give me that. Hey, that's mine. Not anymore, it's not. <laughs> Great work, Mackenzie. Hey, get back here. You did not just steal my daughter's ice cream. That's illegal! I'm calling the police and reporting you! 911, what's your emergency? Hello? It's me, Karen. I would like to report a crime. This is the fifth time you've called today, Karen. Kids skateboarding down your street is not a criminal offense. Stupid Karens. Ugh, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Honey, why don't you go play with some of the kids and maybe take some of their things to bring home later? Your father and I are gonna steal some groceries, so we'll meet you back here at the car and Skateboard. Woohoo! Uh -um. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? You can't just take my skateboard. Well, the skateboard was just sitting there, so it's mine now. If you didn't pay for it, girly, it doesn't belong to you. What do you mean, pay for it? I just take things. If you take something from someone, that's called stealing, and it's illegal. People work really hard for their money to spend it on things they like. And if you steal their things they buy, it makes them really sad. Your parents taught you to steal? They must not be very good people. You need to tell on them and send them to jail so they don't steal from anyone else ever again. Huh? What's jail? Jail is like a cage that humans get locked inside when they do really bad things like stealing and killing. Oh no, but if my parents go to jail, then I won't have any more parents. Well, now you know the truth and sometimes the truth hurts. It's okay to make mistakes as long Skateboard Sky, I didn't want to make you sad. Hi, Mackenzie. I think we should be best friends. I mean, as long as you never steal again. I promise I won't. I'll never steal. Here's my phone number. Call me if you ever want to hang out. Bye. Wow, I never knew what my parents did all these years was illegal. Maybe that's why my parents are homeschooling me. Because if anyone else ever found out, they'd go to Yale. Kenzie, come on. It's time to go. Coming. Later that night. That was too easy. The store worker didn't see us do anything. We'll never get caught. Maybe if we have time after Kenzie goes to sleep, we can sneak into our neighbor's house and steal their new lawnmower. I've had my eyes on that one for a few days now. Oh no, my parents really are bad people. How could they steal someone else's lawnmower? Our neighbor Fred is going to be so sad. Oh, I need to do something about this. All right, Kenzie, time for bed. We have a lot of schoolwork to get to tomorrow. All right, good night, guys. 12 o'clock midnight. Uh, I'm getting pretty thirsty. I think I'll go get some water. Oh, my parents are still up. I better be quiet. I don't want them to know I'm still awake. Wow, what a great day today was. We have enough groceries to last us a whole month. And the best part is we didn't have to pay for any of it. 
I agree, but the best thing we've ever stolen was our little Mackenzie, that's for sure. Best thing they've ever stolen? What are they talking about? Aw, oh, you're right, James. I remember that night 10 years ago, right after we robbed her mom and then killed her. I'm so glad we decided to take Mackenzie home. What? Robbed and killed my mom? What are they talking about? I thought they were my parents. This doesn't make any sense. And she's so good at stealing. It's like as if she's our own child. Wait a second. They have black hair. I have blonde hair. <gasps> These really aren't my parents. I can't believe they killed my mom. I have to do something so they don't hurt anyone else. They can't keep getting away with this. All right, Kate. Come on. Let's go over to Fred's house now and get that lawnmower. All right. I'm going to go call Skye. Maybe she'll know what to do. Hey, Mackenzie. What's up? Skye, I need your help. I think I'm ready to turn my parents in. But I need the police to catch them in the act. What should I do? Hmm. Aha, I got it. Okay, tomorrow when your parents go into town to steal, I'll be at the same place as today riding my skateboard. So you tell your parents that you want my skateboard and they will come and steal it from me for you. We'll pretend like we don't know each other. I'll have a policeman watch the whole thing happen and he'll come in and arrest them. Whoa, Sky, you're a genius. I love that plan. Let's do it. Yay, see you tomorrow, girly. The next morning. All right, another day, another dollar. Let's go steal. I think we should hit up Rockstar today. I really need some new clothes. Ooh, good idea, James. I could go for a new wardrobe, too. Come on, Mackenzie. It's time to go. These guys have no idea what's about to happen. Coming, Mom and Dad. All right, come on, sweetie. Hop in the car. Let's go. Whoa, Mom and Dad. Look at that girl's skateboard. It's so cool. I wish I had a skateboard like that. Mackenzie, you know if you want something, you can just ask for it, right? Really? You do that for me? Of course we would, Mackenzie. Anything to make you happy. Yay! Okay, I want it. James, honey, turn around and pull over. Let's go get that skateboard. All right, Mackenzie, you see in the car. This will only take a second. Hey there, little girl. Cool skateboard you have there. Do you want me to show you a trick? Whoa, a trick? I've always wanted to learn how to do a trick. He can teach you any trick. He's the best skateboarder in all of Brookhaven. No way! Here, take my skateboard! Thanks, little girl. See ya! Wait, that's my skateboard! Come back here! Whoa, that's just too easy. Kenzie's gonna be so excited! Stop right where you are and put your hands where I can see them! Oh, what's happening? James, I think we've been set up! Who could have done this to us? I did! And I helped! Mackenzie, why would you do this to your parents? You guys aren't my parents! I heard you talking last night and how you killed my mom and kidnapped me! <gasps> you guys did what? Well, I'm sorry, Mackenzie. It was an accident. I didn't mean to kill your mom. <gasps> you just confessed to it! James, you idiot! You two are coming with me. I'm locking you away forever. Have fun in jail, you criminals! Well, now that my parents have gone to jail, I don't have a family anymore. Aw! Mackenzie, you can come live with me at my house. My mom would totally say yes. Plus, I've always wanted to have a sister. Wait, Sky, really? Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven role-playing video you guys want to see me do next. And congratulations to Betty Miller for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. And always make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Video. And remember guys, always be a unicorn. Bye!